New at 6, NASA getting ready now to send astronauts into deep space. It's a big reveal today outlined the plans for the Orion capsule. Yeah, Daryl Nail is at Kennedy Space Center with more on the exciting announcement. NASA says the spacecraft behind me can take it 15 times deeper into space than currently the International Space Station is at. That's a capability they haven't had for 40 years. But while the test of this space vehicle is literally right around the corner, a human being won't be able to crawl into this vehicle and fly it until at least seven years from now. Behind me but in front of you is a tangible piece of our path to Mars. Top NASA and space industry leaders praise today's milestone for the Orion program. The space capsule and service module are stacked together in preparation for its first test launch in 170 days. A launch KSC director Bob Cabana says will mark NASA's official beginning of a journey to establish a remote human presence in the solar system. And when we leave planet Earth to do it, we're going to be leaving from right here at the Kennedy Space Center. This NASA animation shows a Delta IV heavy rocket will propel Orion 3,600 miles into space, where it will eventually jettison the service module. At the end of its four hour and 25 minute journey, Orion will fall back to Earth at a speed of 22,000 miles per hour to see if its heat shield can withstand a re entry temperature of over 14,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The test is six months away, but NASA is already praising Orion as the safest spacecraft yet. This is going to be a much safer safer vehicle in the launch environment than the, the shuttle was. But unlike the space shuttle, Orion will have a lengthy seven year gap between its first unmanned test and an astronaut test flight. NASA says there are many complex life support systems that haven't been developed yet, including one that can protect astronauts on a nine month journey to Mars. So there are a lot of gaps that have to be filled between now and then. NASA says this particular design could go through many changes over the years as it adopts for a mission to Mars. That probably won't take place until at least 2025. At the Kennedy Space Center, Daryl Nail, Fox 35 News.